With the amount of drama going on in the King of Fighters community this week, I feel like I'm Keemstar second channel. Oh god. Just saying Keemstar made me throw up a little bit in my mouth. One second. What's going on you guys? TBR here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another King of Fighters video. And welcome to another installment of the Saturday Chat and Chill. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. In today's video, we are going to be talking about, unfortunately, another topic that isn't necessarily going to be much of a chill topic, but it is one that we do need to talk about nonetheless, because yes, unfortunately, Team YouTube is up to their shenanigans again, and unfortunately, this time they have hit one of the largest content creators in the King of Fighters space, and yeah, things are starting to get pretty wild out here, so... We're going to be talking about that. We're also going to be giving you guys an update on the I Run Man situation that we talked about earlier this week, because we do have some positive news in that regard as well. But before we go ahead and get into all of that more, make sure if you guys enjoy daily King of Fighters content such as this, that you smash that like button and subscribe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Cue that intro. Please don't ban me for it. Now, for those of you who are unaware of the I Run Man situation and didn't see my video earlier this week detailing this saga, allow me to go ahead and give you guys a quick update. Basically, what happened in this situation is I Run Man was doing one of his normal live streams here on YouTube, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a bunch of bots descended upon his channel and decided that they were going to start posting a bunch of obscene comments as well as having obscene images as their profile pictures, which was enough to get YouTube to ban I Run Man from the platform permanently. Now, I told you guys in that video that I did earlier this week, you should definitely check it out if you haven't, but I told you guys I would give you an update to this situation if there was any, and of course there is an update now, and I did post something about this on my community tab yesterday, but if you guys check out I Run Man Mark II, this is going to be his second channel, so he has decided to just go ahead and create a new channel instead of just waiting for the dregs over at YouTube to get back with him and get his channel reinstated, which chances are is not going to happen at this point. So if you guys want to go show him some love, he has managed to salvage about 150 or so subscribers to this point. So if you guys could go show him some love and help him reestablish his channel, that would be awesome. But it does not look like, and if you guys want to check out this video he did here, he did detail the situation a little bit more in depth. But if you guys want to go over there and help him out, that would definitely be appreciated. Now, this is not going to be, unfortunately, because this is at least some good news, because at least I Run Man is able to make content again. This is not going to be where we are going to end this video here. Otherwise, it would be a very short one, right? Unfortunately, we have another situation to talk about that is very similar to this in the King of Fighters community, and this time it is a much larger channel. So for those of you who are not aware of who Neo Geo Now is, Neo Geo Now is one of the premier SNK base channels on the YouTube platform at this point. Now, of course, he has started to branch out and do more fighting game IP coverage lately, but he is primarily known for his coverage of SNK and Neo Geo products. As we can tell from the title of this latest video from Nabil over on his channel, yeah, he's been demonetized. And the reason for it is absolutely ludicrous. This is not the same situation as I Run Man is in. At least the I Run Man situation makes some semblance of any sort of sense whatsoever. Unfortunately for Nabil here, however, that is not the case. So apparently, and you guys can go watch this video if you like, and he kind of details the situation more in depth, but the long and the short of it is, is apparently he was completely demonetized because Team YouTube is telling him that his channel is reused content. <laughs> you serious? Reused content. Are you stupid or something? Yeah. So apparently now on YouTube, if you are using any sort of content, whether you're just using short clips or superimposing something from somewhere else over you talking about something or whatever the case may be, I don't know the rules, YouTube doesn't know the rules anymore, then yeah, that can be grounds to get demonetized on this platform. 
Now, of course, I'm sure a lot of you are watching this and going, well, how the hell does that make any sort of sense? Right? I mean, there's all sorts of reaction videos out there, and, you know, I watch people use other content all the time, right? Yeah, well, apparently Team YouTube has decided, or at least maybe they have some sort of rogue algorithm right now, has, and it's decided that apparently a bunch of different content creators are going to get demonetized for this reason now. It seems like any more on YouTube that YouTube has just decided that they are just going to randomly attack creators for whatever reason, and they really don't have any sort of backup plan when it comes to these sorts of things in order to properly handle it. It almost seems like Team YouTube has no real people working there anymore, and they've just been taken over by an AI. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that Susan herself is an AI, and she doesn't even really exist. At least I hope so, because then that would at least make some sort of sense as to what's been going on lately. But it is kind of crazy to me that this has been happening in the KOF scene so much this week. It is very odd that this stuff has started to pile up like it has on the platform for a very small niche community, and I really don't know how or why it's happening. It seems like there's someone going around just attacking KOF content creators or SNK content creators, and part of me wonders if there's something political behind it. Now, of course, I don't want to put on my tinfoil hat because honestly, I don't have it. I think I left it in the other room. But if you really sit down and think about it, why would it make sense that all of a sudden all these KOF content creators have started getting attacked? And I know it isn't just KOF content creators. I know there's a lot of content creators in general. All you've got to do is search on YouTube. And like I had posted on that video about I Run Man originally, I had posted a video on there about several different content creators who had documented the fact that they had had similar issues this past week. But in general, it seems like something is going on on YouTube as a platform. And when you reach out to Team YouTube, yeah, you'd be having a better chance going on a search for the seven Dragon Balls than trying to get anything accomplished with Team YouTube. Because when it comes to YouTube and their policies, a lot of the times, if you talk to them, you're going to be getting an automated response back or some sort of panned response, probably by some intern that gets paid like at this point in sugar. So you really don't get any sort of help and it doesn't really breed any confidence into any of us when it comes to our content. Now, if you guys didn't hear, I know that 2300 Gaming has also decided that he doesn't want to start streaming on YouTube right now again until things start to change. And I know he has talked about maybe just doing Twitch for the time being or whatever the case may be. For me, luckily, I don't do a lot of live streaming, so I'm a little bit safer when it comes to some of this stuff. But even for me with my channel, I'm beginning to wonder, what am I supposed to do when it comes to what I do? Like, am I supposed to now maybe just, I'm, I'm like, to be honest with you guys, I'm considering taking out my intro. Like, because I don't know if that's grounds for Team YouTube to just, you know, get their panties in a bunch and decide, oh, well. You know, TBR, he's a danger to society. We need to cut him off at the knees and just demonetize his channel because he has a 15 second intro that uses the intro from another video game. It's absolutely ridiculous. What about my outro? Should I cut that out too? I mean, shoot, I use the audio on that outro for it too. So like, that's even worse, right? It's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. And when this kind of stuff happens, especially when you're in Nabil's situation, which, which with Nabil, he has been on the platform forever. And he has put out so much high quality content over the years. And to see this happen to his channel and for them to tell him that this is all reused content is ludicrous. I mean, absolutely ludicrous. Like maybe every once in a while you'll see a repost of a trailer, but to sit here and say that he uses nothing but reused content is absolutely just not factually true. And I'm starting to get a little bit paranoid myself with what's going on in the KOF community on YouTube. I'm beginning to wonder if these bots are just specifically going after us at this point, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it or how to explain it, and I don't think anybody can. Not even Team YouTube seems to know what's going on at this point, but it, for them to sit here and say that now using other content in your own content, which as Nabil points out, he talks over all of his content. He has himself in all of his content. He does pretty much what I do, only with everything KOF or anything fighting games, right? So where is the sense to be made there? It almost seems like 
there is a change going on behind the scenes with YouTube and how they allow content creators to use other content under fair use. And if there are changes, first of all, they need to be made aware to the rest of us. We all need to know what's going on because, you know, we're the ones making the content and it kind of sucks to be finding out whenever you just get an email or a notification letting you know that your channel all of a sudden is, you know, a freaking rock and you can't do anything with it anymore. So it's getting to the point where I don't really know how comfortable I am anymore. I, I feel like every time I post a video now, I'm getting more and more paranoid that Team YouTube is going to decide that they're going to be on some shit and Susan is going to like send a SWAT team to my house just to destroy me. So So I wanted to go ahead and bring a little bit of attention to this situation because Nabil's channel is a major, major resource for all of us KOF fans on YouTube, and it's one of the biggest channels in the space. And for this to happen to him, it just goes to show that none of us are safe. And at this point, if you guys start seeing some changes made here to the channel, if I end up having to change my intro, if I end up having to change my outro, if I end up doing some things to protect myself, so be it. It's gotten to the point, you guys, where I'm starting to get a little paranoid. So I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention, especially since I know I have a lot of KOF content creators that do subscribe to my channel, and I wanted to make sure everybody's aware of what's been going on. I'm not going to go and repost this over on Reddit or anything like that. This video this week, honestly, is more of one that I just felt like I had to make because, honestly, this has been all that's been on my mind every day that I've woken up to do a video, and it's kind of interfered with my ability to be creative this week. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't know. That's how much it's kind of worried me. So yeah, it's it's starting to get wild out here, you guys. And if there's any more updates to it, if any of the rest of us fall <laughs> on the sword of YouTube and their constantly fluctuating policies, I will let you know. But if you're a content creator or anything at this point, I suppose, be very careful. But yeah, you guys, at this point, not a lot we can do except for maybe go on Twitter if you have a Twitter, go out and retweet at Team YouTube about this and try to get their attention. Try to, I don't know at this point, get them to come to their senses because they just need somebody that's an actual live human being, a team of live human beings reviewing this stuff. Because if a live human being went on this channel or went on I Run Man's channel at the time, now that's gone, rip. But if a live actual human being went on to either of these channels to check and see if any of the things that had been reported or were going on were actually going on, and it would take them maybe 10 minutes to realize that it was an error. Like, that's all it would take. But unfortunately, when you comes down to Team YouTube, like I said, I have a hard time believing there's that many actual live breathing human beings working there anymore much less ones with a functioning brain. But anyway, you guys, that is going to be the Saturday chat and chill this week. I know it's not very chill, and uh, I know it's not a topic on the King of Fighters All-Star, but this stuff has been going on for a week now and is starting to get crazy, in my opinion. Like I said, if Nabil's channel, if Neo Geo now isn't, isn't safe, what chance do the rest of us stand? It seems like it's a matter of time before something happens, and whether it's bots or bad algorithms making decisions that real people should be making or whatever the case may be yeah shit is wild but anyway you guys i hope you all have a wonderful weekend you all take care like share and subscribe if you found it informative go show some love to these content creators because uh yeah who knows how much longer we'll be around at this rate but anyway you guys i'll talk to you in the next one peace Continue.